Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and today I'd like to show you how easy it is to play around with a collage aesthetic in GoDaddy Studio. Now collage is a broad term that can be expressed in hundreds of different ways, but what I'd like to leave you with today is a sense of how easy the process really is in GoDaddy Studio, as well as all the resources that you have access to in defining your own unique style. Let's take a look at how it works. Now, of course, the easiest way to get started would be uh, using one of our existing templates. You could search for collage in the template feed and you'll see we have a wide range of options uh, to get you started quickly and easily. You would simply select one of these and go about replacing all the various elements with those of your own. But let's take the training wheels off and start a design from scratch. In this example, I'm using a very simple expression of collage, simply arranging four different images on the same canvas at different sizes. Now, the most important concept to get to grips with in collage is uh, layering. Now, if I tap on this uh, sandwich icon at the top right of my screen, uh, that'll present my layers view. And you'll see I have these four different layers and uh, they have a certain hierarchy. So this uh, image of the hand you'll notice is on top of the uh, rock and the image of the woman and hence oops hence when i uh, move it around you'll see it sits above both of those images but now if i go back to my layer stack and i drag that layer underneath both of those you'll see that is now expressed on the canvas where this uh, image is now behind the other two and of course you can start to develop layering by putting it somewhere in the middle You'll see now that image falls behind the rock and uh, in front of the woman and this is how you start to create a sense of depth in your collage so collage is really defined by layering and overlapping and once you get a handle on that it really opens up the floodgates of creativity now in this example if i jump to my layer stack you'll see i've just included a few additional elements just some very basic uh, shapes that I've uh, stacked behind some of these images. And again, it's all about uh, the layering that creates uh, an effect of depth. And I think uh, just something like the, the uh, addition of these shapes just adds uh, an additional level of uh, visual interest to this composition. Layers are also really useful if you are struggling to access a specific element. So let's say I'm battling to get to this uh, shape in the background because of the image in front of it. What you would do is just jump to your layers view, select that uh, layer in your layers view, and uh, now you can very easily edit or rearrange it. Right, now things really start to get interesting when you begin to add some graphics into the mix because we just have so many incredible options for you. Now in this example, I found a pack that I really like. It features these uh, kind of papery cutouts. If I just hit replace here we can jump into that collection it's called hand cut collage volume one by paper whistle studio and you'll see there are all these really cool kind of random cut out bits and pieces of paper which uh, i really i really enjoy so uh, i've gone with this option and you'll see in my design i'm really just uh, playing around with different elements from this specific graphic pack but of course we have uh, dozens of these different packs to choose from and uh, the nature of the uh, graphics that you choose would of course start to define the particular, uh, the end result of your collage. An obvious place to start searching for graphics for your collage would be in the graphics library where you could of course search for collage. And here you'll see some individual elements which include uh, compositions, in other words, uh, pre-made collages that bring together a few different elements more as a background as well as individual elements to use uh, in your own unique collage. But here in the top row, you'll see the different collections that we have. And within here, there are many of them have 50, 60, 100 plus different elements to choose from. It's really just about navigating according to your own graphic style and uh, specific ideas that catch your attention. Collage is really just about exploring different combinations. So feel free to dip in, mix and match. Uh, there's really no limit on your imagination here. And then of course, uh, don't forget about text as an additional element in your collage. You can of course start experimenting with uh, different types of fonts at different sizes. And uh, that can really add a lot of interest as well as some uh, vital information to your collage if you are doing it uh, as opposed with a specific function. Don't forget you can crop your images too. So we've been focused on a rectangular image up until this point. But if you tap edit on uh, any of the images, you'll see 
here at the bottom there's a crop function uh, you can make it square custom any possible dimensions or in this instance I've gone with a circular crop with all the images and that in turn I think uh, drew me towards some rounder more curved uh, graphic elements for my collage design. If you'd like a more roughly cut out look for a specific type of collage then I'd urge you to try the mask tool and you can just uh, drag that around just for a very rough uh, kind of organically cut out look and then again just using layers to integrate that into your design. But if you'd like a more precise cutout, then you'll definitely want to try the Remove Background tool, which can uh, remove the image background in a few seconds with a single tap, making it uh, a movable element in your design. And if you're wondering how I got that uh, white outline effect, I'll show you quickly. I'm just going to delete it and show you again. What I would do is uh, duplicate this layer. I would jump to the one at the back navigate to the uh, sorry the tint tool put that up to 100 change the color to white and then just slightly enlarge it so that it creates the, the uh, illusion of an outline to your collage uh, which can really help separating the foreground and the background going uh, this route might of course lead you to an entirely different type of collage style like in this example where I've uh, found a composite background and then just uh, from the same graphic pack added a few additional elements in the foreground or perhaps a variation where I dip into some different packs and uh, in this case I searched for stickers just to uh, find a final graphic element uh, to round off this design. Collage is so much fun to play around with so why don't you try it out for yourself by downloading the free app. All the links you need are in the description below. Thanks as always for watching and please subscribe if you want to keep learning about GoDaddy Studio. I'll see you next time.